hey guys welcome to my 200 days but today i'm going to be showcasing all the progress i have made even though it's not much i'm going to be showing you guys hope you guys enjoy so to begin we're going to start with my house i don't know how to really build so it looks like whatever that is and i haven't built much even though i've spent 200 days in this world as you can see 225 days my science experiment where i experimented on shock sensors to you know try and spawn the world in, but it doesn't yet happen but jank hasn't added it yet so it doesn't work yet well over here is where my farm is where i keep my ships my little bit more ships and here is my one of my prizes from my my grove tree it's where i found my you know i found the sapling for this tree and there's actually even more saplings there and this is a little bit pool it's not perfect but i just like to take a little deep in here now it's time for us to go towards our house so our house i told you guys i don't know how to build so we have a villager here i have done some stuff this is my bed where i like to chew my ammo stand all my tools okay the chest looks weird and these are my blast furnace my disc actually recently had a disc inside so i just play that right now Yeah, so that's big step plane. Here are my chests. I don't know why they look this way, but my chest there. I haven't organized a couple of things here. I just keep stuff here. And my inventory is currently full now, so let us empty a little bit of things into our chest. Okay, guys, we have a recovery compass that shows us what has happened. We also have another villager too who sells us books. As you can see, he's already an expert in what he does. And down here uh, is my mind. There's not really much down here except me mining for stuff. And now it's time for us to go to the nether. Now I know what you guys might be thinking. I have full diamond armor, but what enchant do I have? Well, on my diamond diamonds I have aqua infinity, blast protection, and mending. On my diamond chest plate I have tons, 2 protection, 3 and mending. I also have on my diamond leggings unbreaking 3, mending, protection, 4 and swift sneak. And on my diamond boots I have cause of vanishing, feather falling protection, 4 and mending too. They're actually really good enchantments which help me, you know, in places like this in the nether. So first of all we're going to have to watch out for ghasts. Because they can really be annoying. So for now, we are going to the end to see a couple of, you know, what I've done with the nether. I haven't done much or built actually anything in the nether. But I use it to keep my nether portals here. Like for example. And now I'm the run. I need to get out of here before the zombie pigmen catch up to me. I also need to be careful of gas because the gas are actually really annoying. So Renara guys. Alright, now we are in the end. Average right here. Alright, so it seems it's night right here. But there's a village way over here. Yeah, as you guys can see. There's a village. I don't really do anything in the village. Okay, we have we have a village here. There's not really much there. And now it's time for us to go into the next doesn't matter. Okay, so as you can see you guys I have defeated the Ender Dragon. But I haven't made an enderman farm because I do not know how to build one. But whenever I need ender pearls, I usually just hide in here. I stare at a couple of endermen. And since they are too tall, they can't attack me too. And then I just... It's a really efficient way to actually kill endermen, especially if you don't know how to make an enderman farm. Or you don't just want to. That's it to do. Alright, that's all. And I go up here. I could throw my ender pearls. Lie down and teleport here. Where I have also done nothing to. Kawabonga! And now we're back in the tour of our house. And last but definitely not least, in our minds we have a zombie spawner. Yeah, a lot quicker. And guys, build my going to the farm. I'm sure you guys know how it works. And then they appear right here where I kill them. 
the item drop into the hopper and I got my ton of you know loot. I have a bunch of golden ailments. I also have a ton of rotten flesh which I can actually trade for gold. It's uh, you don't need to do that. And also we have my chocolate box. That's some important stuff like my skulks. Okay guys, if you guys enjoyed my Minecraft World Tour, I hope you guys live I hope you guys liked it. So don't forget to leave a like, comment down what other and what other videos you like to see. And my name is Tecton and I will see you guys later.